This One Degree Outside video is sponsored by the Topps Field Fair, America's oldest fair. You can pre-order your admission, meal, and ride tickets today at topsfieldfair.org and join the fun October 4th through 14th, conveniently located on Route 1, just off of Interstate 95. Hi, Matt Noyce, Midweek Insights for you. One Degree Outside Weather Network. Of course, all of our videos, including Danielle's from this morning up through the next 24 hours, the Noyce's notes, that's at OneDegreeOutside.com. You know, in our pattern predictions video this past Monday, I told you, watch out for the weekend, right? One of the things with pattern predictions is we, we try to add value to the 14-day and say, all right, these are the days you need to watch. At that point, I think it was only a 10 or 20% chance of showers in the weekend, but I had pointed out that we may get an onshore flow that may raise the risk of rain it looks like that's going to happen. So finally, some rain. There's the good news for you. We are going to watch, though, for lingering showers, drizzle, clouds that last into the weekend. We'll get into that in a minute. I think some improvement seems likely on Sunday. Overall, there's a step down in temperature that pretty much starts on Thursday, and it continues heading into the weekend. Water vapor imagery traces where there's a lot of water in the atmosphere and its gaseous form. You've got that in both uh, white and green, and you can see it looks like, my goodness, is that coming right at us? It should be here today, right? There's too much dry air at the surface for that to get in here today. So when you look at satellite, which is the clouds, and radar, which is precipitation falling from underneath those clouds, that rain's still pretty far away. And there's high pressure kind of holding on and protecting us and keeping the dry air in for now. That'll break down as soon as tonight along the south coast. And during the course of tomorrow, you'll notice that even at 7.30 in the morning, you've got showers basically southeast of Boston, over southeast Mass, Rhode Island, southeast Connecticut. That's at 7.30 in the morning by midday on Thursday. Now you've got those showers that are coming up across the Mass New Hampshire border. Now, they never really make it to a lot of central and northern New England. Also, the Berkshires stay pretty removed during the day on Thursday. The rest of kind of the southern half of New England is into it. By the time we get to Friday, the showers have expanded to central and parts of northern New England. But notice if you're going leaf peeping across the far north country, northern uh, Vermont, great north woods of New Hampshire, and into central and northern Maine, you're pretty much removed from it. Even into Saturday, the far north country anyway is removed, even if parts of northern New England, certainly central and southern New England, look to be in the showers on Saturday. And this is what we talked about in that pattern predictions video, right? The fact that you've got an on shore wind that comes in off the ocean, moistens the atmosphere, and that certainly has an impact. And then by the time we get to Sunday, that's the hopeful improvement, which I'm going to touch upon here in just one second. Let me show you the atmospheric energy, yellows, oranges, reds, where there's energetic centers. Notice right over us as we head to the end of the week, Friday into Saturday, even Saturday with that energy overhead, chances of good showers are going to pop up. But by Sunday, it starts to pivot down to the south. You get behind it as it starts to drop away from us. And there's some drier air available through the middle and lower levels of the atmosphere. In other words, I think probably on Sunday, the rain breaks up and the clouds even may break up a little bit the deeper into the day that you go. I just have to be careful with that because anytime you have an onshore wind, there's no guarantee that the dry air will overwhelm the ocean influence. So Sunday's forecast may deteriorate from what I'm telling you now, but that's my best estimate on where it's going to land. Total rain depends on where you are. I mean, South Coast Cape Islands pick up the most. In fact, Nantucket, your heaviest rain really comes during the course of Thursday. I'll be coming down pretty good Thursday morning from the Cape down to the islands. The farther north you go, uh, the heaviest of the rain, although it showers Thursday, the heaviest of the rain in Boston is Friday and maybe to Friday night, early Saturday. And then the farther north you go still, we look together at Friday into Saturday would be your showery time. You can imagine with an onshore wind, you're going to churn the seas. So while they're up a little bit on Thursday, if I go forward to Friday, you'll notice the seas building six to eight feet when you get from the outer cape of the national seashore up to wilkinson basin 10 feet when you get south of nova scotia by the time we get to saturday it's not really better you wouldn't expect it to get better if it's an onshore flow through sunday even if the weather improves sunday the seas really shouldn't and they really don't as we go on through the end of the weekend so just something to be aware of there day by day stuff for you obviously it's going to be cooler where the showers come down right so for thursday it's coolest in southern new england where it's dry and you get actually a little bit of sun in northern new england we get to 80 degrees in the champlain valley uh, thursday night here are the showers spreading north coming into central new england where they will fall during the course of friday and that keeps your temperature down a little bit once again though the farther north you go particularly champlain valley kind of avoids all of this we could all use the rain, but you're going to avoid it. And for leaf peeping season, I guess it's going to work out pretty good. We're just getting started on that. Saturday, the clouds, again, you don't see a lot of green, but I'm telling you, I think with the energy we looked at with the onshore flow, there's going to at least be showers and drizzle between them. And then by the time we get to Sunday, if that drier air gets involved in the lower several thousand feet of the atmosphere, the rain will mostly be over. There could be a pop-up shower and the clouds may even start to break by the afternoon. So that's the one that I want to keep you posted on. But nonetheless, nonetheless that's the most hope I think uh, is on Sunday out of the two weekend days.
Pats down at MetLife Stadium going to be showering, but not heavily by the way it looks now. Still, it may have an impact, making things a little bit damp. Showers off and on, and the winds are gustiest at uh, kickoff in the first half of the game. We've got some 15 to 20 miles an hour. You can use our app down at MetLife Stadium if you're headed down there uh, to do the hourly for It works everywhere. In fact, folks have been traveling overseas, and it depends on what country you're going to, but uh, what a lot of them will do is just grab the 14-day right before they leave out of our app, snapshot it, take it with them. It literally give you a forecast for anywhere. So that's how things look for now. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Danielle and I always appreciate you getting your weather every day. Sunshine and rain from OneDegreeOutside.com. Take care.